Hey guys, Dave and Chris here from Motor Plants Test Lab, and today we have something extremely special for you guys. A look back into the archive of a Browning bow, the Spike Buck Youth Bow Package. A friend of mine gave me this bow in the box, brand new, literally brand new in the box. And it, the funny part about this bow, and we're gonna open it for you, we're gonna do a test lab on this bow. It is an original, original bow. And the funny part about this bow is when I opened this box, I realized this was my first bow I had ever received from my dad. Not this exact one, but this model was the exact model. And my dad bought it from Cabela's and it came in this box. And I can remember it as a kid. Um, so let's talk about real quick before we open it. Let's just say it's, it says it's made by Sports Inc., which I don't really understand that part. Maybe they were a distributor or something. Yeah, like I believe that. they were a distributor back in the day. So it says Sports Inc. Youth Compound Bow Browning Eccentric side-by-side -side wheels with 50% approximate let off, solid glass limbs, preset knot, camouflage painted, laminated wood riser, double teardrop cables, no cable guard required. <laughs> Four Browning arrows, Browning Youth Quiver, Browning Youth Bow Sight, Browning Youth Arm Guard, and Browning Youth Finger Glove. Wow, spike buck compound bow, 20 to 22 inch draw length, 15 to 30 pounds adjustable draw weights. And there is a spike two, which looks to be a 23 to 25, 24, 25 to 45 pounds, so a little bit bigger, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that's cool they were doing that when they were, you know, when and we were even, young. It even notes here, when set at 45 pounds, this bow is legal for hunting in nearly all states. So at the time, and this was 25 bucks, and I don't know when, but original Browning bow. Spike buck one. Now I remember this. I remember this, this metal piece. You have to hook on the string. The teardrop hooks. Wow. This is it. See if this will click onto the string. Oh, you might want to put an arrow in there too. Definitely, yeah. Oh, wow. It's plastic, guys. I've never seen a plastic release. That's the first time in my career of doing this in 10 years. Can we take it over there and shoot it? We're going to shoot it, yeah. Look, yeah. Browning you, I'm using Chris. this. There's no way I'm not using this. Wow, there's the manual. If you guys need a manual, we can get a copy of this and post it if someone's buying this bow or can Pride. find it. Pride Plastics. Is There's some is. mouse droppings in here. This is amazing. There's the one pin sight. I don't know if you guys remember that. Oh, we got this too. So you had, you had the, the sight. Oh, there it is, the bracket. You had the sight with the bracket with the little Dude, let's put the, pins. We have, let's put that on. We gotta put this together. Yeah, let's put it together. Oh, All right, we're gonna put it together. We're gonna shoot it for you guys and go have some fun with this because it, it, this is really cool. I wonder if we should like crank it all the way down or if there's gonna be too much pressure for it. It's gonna be 30 pounds. If it's too much pressure, 15 pounds is too much pressure. Should be good. It just has a normal screw. It's got There's a no Allen wrench. Flathead. This is so exciting. Original. I'm, it's just so exciting to see that old bow like this. Look at this quiver. Oh, I mean, I miss seeing that brownie logo. It's too oh, bad they're gone. That's what the problem is. I'm looking, where's the bracket for the, I know I saw a bracket for the quiver. Isn't there a quiver bracket somewhere? Oh, there? there's some screws that are smaller. Yeah, I need those. Yeah, there you go. I was looking, I was using the quiver brackets. I was using the wrong ones. I don't think he's, no, there's some arrows. I'll be right back. There's some other arrows over here. Original Easton's. Let me get back in the video. XX75 Original game getters, Easton's man. Game Getters. XX75, $3.69 at Dunham's back in the day. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. You guys, I know some of you guys have these. I know it. Oh, we get people asking oh, about them all the time. The my show. gosh, I might even hunt with these this year. Can I hunt with this? I don't see why not. XX75s? It's 2117. Dude, I'm totally hunting with it. You have to glue the knock on. Remember that? Dude, that'd be legit. Hunt with this baby. Dude, It'd be even cool if we could figure a way to put a lighted knock on it. I don't think so. Yeah, me either. <laughs> it's like basically gutted with this point. If you haven't seen one of these guys, this is the original Easton XX75. Uh, shaft. This is a 2117. And what it is is, first off, how big are these veins? Five inch? Those are about, yeah, about five inch veins. Okay, and then they have the knock. And the knock, I don't know if Tim can zoom on this knock, it, it actually has a cone. And um, you glue them on. They, they slide on over the cone. So nowadays, your knock goes inside the shaft. But the old days, it would go over this cone. It was like a cone head, like the movies. And this is like a hat that goes over it with glue on it. I think that's the best analogy. Yeah, ever cone heads, baby. It. These are cone head arrows. Cone head. And we're totally arrows. shooting the cone head right out of this thing. What's the brace height on this, baby? 45 inches. Yeah, 45 inch brace height. Uh, no, but that's pretty big brace height there. 
Um, so we're gonna attempt to shoot this thing. I'm going to use the, this is not the release that came with it, it came with fingers, but this is a sure hit plastic release made by P Pride. Oh, Pride. Pride Plastics. P Pride. Pride. So I thought there was two P's. For the first time. I thought there was two P's in there. Do I, do I hit the button? Okay. Wow. Okay. Here we go, guys. You know what's funny? I wonder. I hope no one shoots like a real bow with this thing. This thing looks like. Why not? Alan still makes those those releases just like that. Plastic? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at that group! Oh, he oh, hit him up in the middle! Okay. Oh, that's a solid hit! Wow. Alright guys, we just got done shooting the Browning Spike Buck 1. Uh, one of the original bows that I got when I was a kid to shoot. You know, I have my son here holding it, Connor. And uh, what'd you think of it? Was, how do you think of that compared to your bow now? <laughs> <laughs> so currently, kind of shooting the uh, diamond prism, and uh, huge difference, huh? You yes. see a big difference in the. So, but what do you think about that? Considering that's what your dad started with. Um. Well, first of all, it's really off aim. Well, that's normal. You didn't sight yeah. yet, but yeah. that's what I started with, man. That, look at the cams, like just basically a little wheel with some old-fashioned cables in there. The string went on these little, uh, I don't know what you call this. Teardrops. Teardrop. And then you also have to put this in it. But yeah, that's a little different, but that's not, that didn't come with it. You actually. probably shot oh. this with fingers when I you did. shot it. Yeah. yeah. Originally I shot it with the fingers, the kit you guys saw there. So pretty cool. We just shot some Easton uh, XX75s out, which brought back a lot of great memories. These are some really cool arrows. And I remember the 78s were the big ones, the Super Slam, yep. Chuck Adams. Boom. I remember that. And that was the big thing in the 90s going into the 2000s. But okay, so. There you have it. You guys get to see an archive video from BHP. We archived this bow, uh, the Spike 1 from Browning. It'll go on our wall now and stay forever. You're going to start seeing more of these series videos as we go. As we get old bows, we're going to try to video them. So I think we keep a nice archive on every model ever made if we can do it. And it'd be really cool to do. Go ahead and click the like button down below.